G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to have a look at Ubuntu Budgie 1804 nightly build. Just wanted to cover a couple of things. Um, first one was a new applet called Clockworks. So if we take a look at uh, Budgie Welcome and we have a look at Recommendations, sorry, not recommendations, applets. This one here, Clockworks applet. Uh, you can have many different times set. It's quite a sim simple one. It's good enough to tell time. They make expensive watches that look like that, so this is quite um, fancy anyway. So I'll just show you that one. Thought I'd set myself up some times. I talked to Rocco, Big Daddy Linux, and Zeb uh, as well on Big Daddy Linux Live, and uh, I like to know their respective time time zones just so I can respect where they are and what time it is. And if you wanted to add another one, you can just simply do that. Move the time zone up and down. You need to know the actual. I think it's GMT time. I think it is uh, Greenwich time or whatever it is. So. I actually asked these guys what it was, so because I'm hope I'm not really sure about those time zones. So I suppose it's easy to look up on Google anyway. So you press the plus button to add another one, and you can label it whatever you like. My time, um, your time, and then you just change the time zone, and whatever time zone you put, the the clock will change accordingly. And if you want to get rid of it, just click the delete button, done deal. So that's quite a handy little um, clock there for people who like to see different time zones. So the other thing that we have in the budgie welcome, if we go back, which is what I have first had open, was the recommendations. And in the recommendations, I was running the Ubuntu budgie 1604. Four, I think it was no 1710 and I was using the Skippy XD and if you click on install Skippy XD you'll find that it's failed to install that's a Windows overview so and I'll just take you to the internet for a minute and show you here I made a comment on Ubuntu Budgie's community Google Plus and just noticed that uh, that Skippy XD is not installable and David who I think is the le the lead on uh, Ubuntu Budgie said that uh, he's in two minds whether to install it or not um, because of the product being unmaintained um, I don't want to produce a build that potentially could break um, unfortunately, let's have a look. I'm two minds at the moment whether to include Skippy XD. The software is unmaintained. So um, I suppose nobody wants to put an applet in a operating system that's going to break or potentially break. So that, you know, better to take it out than put it in and something goes wrong. That's a very professional move, I believe. So that's a bit unfortunate because I like the Windows overview, but uh, hey, if it's not working, it's not working. So the other thing is uh, that inspired me a bit to make this video as well. I was going to make a video, on just a quick one on the applet, the new applet, but uh, this one here. Um, LibreOffice feedback. These guys uh, for 1804, they, they're going to... In it will come with LibreOffice 6, version 6, and it will remain version 6 for the life period of the long-term support, which I believe is probably three years, it says here. So they do have a choice. They can install the Snap version of LibreOffice. That version will be updated to the latest version over the next three years. So whatever LibreOffice updates to, um, it will continue to update. So the downside that they're saying is that the LibreOffice Snap currently doesn't use the icon and GTK theme you are using. 
This may change in the next few months. The developers are working on it, but we don't know if, when this work will be backported to 1804. So what do you think? Stick with the nicely integrated and stable version 6 or go with the snap and how to install the snap. So I've installed the snap and here it is here. These are the snap ones. There's the icons there and you can see that uh, it's not honoring the icon set here. Um, if we have a look at uh, also that's just open LibreOffice 5 at the moment and see what that looks like. Okay. Save as. Okay. So we've got the dark here because this is the arc darker. I believe that's the arc darker because the darker is the one with the darker panels. So let's have a look at uh, LibreOffice Snap Calc. File, save as. So there you can see it's all white. It doesn't have the darkness around it. So I think it still doesn't... I, I, I honestly think it still looks presentable. This box still looks presentable. It's a bit white and it's a bit bright, but still to me I think it's reasonably presentable. Um, and then you've got your icons in here, but that's just normal anyway. You can change those to it's set, set on elementary, breeze, and a few other ones here. Tango is the older one. So anyway, let's not get uh, sidetracked on those. So that's the biggest... That, that doesn't look too bad. The problem that you're really going to have is... I saved a few documents, and you'll see here that they're all purple and they're not respecting or honouring the different colours for the different suites and also the different icon. Well, the icon's different, but the colours are not. It, it's, uh, it's not consistent. So um, that would be the two main reasons, I think, is that and the Save As dialog boxes and stuff that don't uh, honour the GTK theme. So what do you guys think? Um, let's have a look at LibreOffice Calc, File, Save As, um, My Doc, My Calc. Let's just save that one. Let's go back to there. And we have, and, and now even the, the LibreOffice 5 is saving as the uh, the snap one as well so that's interesting so the snap icons must be taking over one op one option you could do is I was just having a look around as well so th there is you know options if if they did go with snap um, and to get these looking better there uh, I did install the papyrus icon set so I'll go with the papyrus dark and they actually come up pretty well. Now I know that's, I don't think that will change these ones. Well actually, that, well, it hasn't changed. These ones are different to those still, but they still look a bit more uniform than what they would have before. So, um, so that's an option. So if you was willing to sort of wait till um, the snap was uh, backported with all the proper icons and themes, that's an option to go. So that that's just something else to keep in mind. Um, not sure if uh, Ubuntu Budgie wants people using different icons. Maybe they want you to go with the installed icon set anyway. I'm not sure what they're going with with the new 1804 anyway. I'm not sure if it's going with this one here or something else. I'm not sure. So, but that would just be an option to get you by. So what do you guys think? Go with the snap or go with the uh, integrated? But uh, let's keep in mind the snap will eventually be fixed and backported, they're saying. I believe that's what they were saying. And if that's the case, it might be worth no pain, no gain, they say. 
So um, it might be worth a little bit of pain to pick up the gain in the future. But I have to say, unfortunately, it does look a little bit unprofessional, those few little issues there. So just getting back to the applets, I was just running through the development here. And um, Jacob, I believe, does a lot of the work on the applets. So great work, Jacob. I reckon your applets are awesome. So this is the team. I know Dustin. I talked with Dustin on Big Daddy Linux Live. He's a very nice guy. And I'm sure all these guys are too. And that's Jacob. So good work, guys. So I hope this video finds you well. hope it was uh, presentable enough uh, for people to make an informed decision. So uh, what do you guys think? Should they go with uh, Snap? Or should they go with the uh, version 6, which will last for the next three years and see no updates to LibreOffice? So the feedback given from the Ubuntu Budgie community regarding the LibreOffice Snap could have a huge influence on the Ubuntu Budgie team regarding the direction they take for the 1804 Ubuntu Budgie long-term support release. So... Hope it was informative and thank you for watching.